Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. So before we get into some NBA action for December the 19th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section so you will have all these tools that will help you make your picks more successful. Okay, so we have several games from the 19th. We're not going to look at all of them, but we're going to look at several of them. First one is the Portland Trailblazers and the Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis heads into play with the fourth best record in the Western Conference, and Portland is on the outside looking in at the moment. You see, Portland has lost their last six games, dead status, while Memphis is burning hot winners of four out of their last five and five out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Memphis is at plus 24, while Portland is near the bottom of the league at plus 3. The, to if the total was you see that in the last game, both teams were played in games under the line, and both teams were over the line the previous two games. Uh, Memphis under in 4 out of the last 6. The score prediction has Memphis by a substantial 119 to 109 margin, with a confidence in prediction of nearly 71%. You want to see how stable the two teams have been, how consistent they have been performing according to their favorite underdog status. You see that Portland is at plus 15. They have been extremely stable. Memphis at minus 1. Portland will be the underdog. They have been very stable. They have been losing when being the underdog. I don't think anything is going to change this time around. I like Memphis to take control of the game early, and I would bet under as well. San Antonio and Sacramento. Cleveland and Atlanta. Next one we want to look at is Denver and Brooklyn. Despite being shorthand, the Nets have been playing very well. You can see they're burning hot winners of five out of their last six, and they are on top in the Eastern Conference. Denver lost their last game. They were three and three over their last six and are averaged down. And Denver is currently eighth in the Western Conference. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see right here Brooklyn's at plus 25. And Denver is at plus 16. If you look at the over-under, you see that Denver has been over the last five games, while Brooklyn has been involved in games over the line in their last three. This is a very strong indication to bet the over. The confidence in the prediction of 117 to 107 in favor of Brooklyn is 60, almost 68%. If you look at the stability factor, which we always like to do here, See Brooklyn at plus 12, very consistent, and Denver not quite as consistent, but still relatively consistent at plus 5. So the way I think this game is going to play out is I really just like Brooklyn. They just are finding ways to win every time, or nearly every time. I think they will win, and I will go over the line. Charlotte and Phoenix. Another good matchup here. The Suns come in with the second best record in the Western Conference. They are burning hot at the moment, winners of their last two and four out of their last six. While the Hornets are sixth in the Eastern Conference, <clears throat> they are average status, winners of their last game, two out of their last three, and they are three and three over their last six. The score prediction here, now obviously this can't really happen, but right now this shows how even they think the two teams are in this game. 117-117, 48% level of confidence in the prediction. The streaks as far as over under, Charlotte has been trending in games over the line the last six. Phoenix over in their last two. I like over the line as well in this one. Uh, if you look at the total predictor, you can see that, that trend here. You see, Like I said here, look at the Charlotte over in their last six and increasingly higher over in each of their last games. So it's a very good indication to bet the over. The stability factor, we can see here that Phoenix is a plus 18. They have been extremely consistent according to their favorite underdog status. That is going to be a key and an indication which way to go in this one. I know the score prediction is showing like a tight game, but it's only 48% level confidence. I like Phoenix to win fairly easily, perhaps by double digits and betting over. Dallas and Minnesota. Los Angeles Lakers and the Chicago Bulls. Here's the next one we want to look at. The Lakers head into Chicago, 6th in the Western Conference, burning hot status at the moment, winners of their last three and four out of their last six. The Bulls, after 
winning their previous four and have now lost two in a row, so they are average status at the moment, and they are third in the Eastern Conference. In the, on the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Bulls are plus 25, soaping down a little bit from their plus 29 a few days ago, and the Lakers are at plus 20. The score prediction has Chicago in a tight contest here, 116 to 113, with nearly 55% level of confidence. If you look at the over-under, you can see the Lakers have been under the line, involved in games under the line, in their last uh, five, while the Bulls were over in their last game and under the previous three. I like the trend of under in this one. I think I'm going to go under. I do like the Bulls at home. Let's look at the uh, stability factor first before we make the final say on this one. If you look at the stability factor, you can see both teams have been pretty consistent as far as their favorite underdog status. Therefore, I will stick with my initial thought of the Bulls winning the game and betting under the line. The final game we want to look at is the New Orleans Pelicans and the Philadelphia 76ers. The 76ers have struggled lately, losers of their last three. They are ice cold down. The Pelicans are average. They are 3-3 three and three over their last six, and they are coming off of a win. If you look at the over-under, both teams have been involved in games over the line and under the line in three of their last six. So it's kind of an iffy proposition as far as betting the over-under. Um, I might lean towards the over since both teams were trending in games over the line and in their last contest. Uh, the score prediction has Philadelphia in a tight one here, 113-111 to 111 with a 71% level of confidence. I do like the Philadelphia in the fact that they are playing at home. Uh, the power ranking indicator shows that Philadelphia is at plus 18 and New Orleans down near the bottom of the league at plus 4. They're second worst in the Western Conference. The stability factor is always important. And you can see here that both teams have been consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status at plus 9 and plus 8. I do like Philadelphia to break out of their slump at home with a win over New Orleans. And I believe this game will go over the line. So there you have it. Those are the five games we wanted to look at for December the 19th in the NBA. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.